Okay. What are your expectations for the season? Um, for the season, we're just trying to do uh, what our goals are every year. We want to be the team that wins the conference title on the guy's side. We want to be a team that has a shot to win on the girl's side. Uh, our girls' team, they've, we're, we're really worked hard to get a lot better. We're hoping to have a top 10 finish in school history, basically. Uh, we have, I think fifth is the best the team's done in the last 10 to 15 years. We're really hoping to take a huge jump, be a top two to three team. Uh, that took a big hit with Maggie Chepkowicz will be redshirting this year, obviously an all-conference runner two years in a row. But I still think even without her, we've had great recruiting classes the last two years. And I expect uh, to be a team that surprises a lot of people on the girls' side and on the guys' side, obviously. Our goal is every year to try to make the national meet and win a conference title. All right. Um, you, you ran one race so far? Run one. If, evaluate the team, the, the progress they made from the preseason into to that first race. The first race we walked into, uh, it didn't go as planned. It was hotter than we wanted. It was about 94 degrees outside. It was in the middle of the day, 3 o'clock. And a lot of our kids aren't from the south area. They're from Indiana, New York systems. We run in the morning. And so it wasn't quite the times we were looking for. I know on the guys' side, we went one through four. Uh, it was a good workout for the guys. The big thing for them was to make sure we had not only got that workout in as a race, but also right as soon as the race was over, we got together, got another workout in. For the girls, uh, it was tough. Danny Sullivan was leading, had a huge lead with 400 meters to go. She's only been, we were only here for two and a half weeks before uh, the first race. She's not 100% acclimated to the weather. and with. 400 meters to go, you could just see the gap close and close and close, and then she almost didn't finish the race. And I know how good Danny is and how good she's going to be, and I'm looking forward to that. And we didn't have a full squad on either side. We only ran five guys. We were sitting out four, but basically our top four. And on the girls' side, we were missing Tori Lawson, obviously, who um, is, was our number one runner last year, freshman of the year. And we're expecting uh, almost a full squad this this meet, and I think. Uh, we're improving, and it's early in the season. Last year, we came out, we were, looked like gangbusters, and by the end of the season, didn't go quite as planned. I mean, we only finished seventh in the region, second in the conference on the guy side. Um, on the girl side, I think we were sixth in the conference. This year, we're really looking at making sure we're ready at the end of the year when we need to be ready. The races at the beginning of the year, they don't mean a thing to us. Um, what matters is the conference meet, the regional meet, and hopefully as well, the national meet. Talk about the Azalea City Classic coming up and the advantages of having that in your hometown. I mean, it's great for recruiting around locally, obviously, and also our team doesn't get to run around Alabama that much, around where their family, a lot of family, friends, etc. So this is their time to really enjoy it, go show off. Uh, I think both teams think they're very good. I think we're going to have a very good shot to win in both races, and it's their time to shine. I mean, a lot of times, you know, your friends or uh, other sports teams don't realize, they see this place, they see that you're a good team, but they don't realize quite what level you're on. And then they go out, to, go out there and see it, and if a guy's sweep a meet, which you know almost happened last week, or you know, Tori Lawson or Danny or Jesse go out there and win the race on the girls' side, I mean, they get to really see what high-quality athletes they are. And uh, I'm just glad they have the opportunity to show off. Briefly explain and kind of go over your coaching philosophy and what you try to do when uh, developing runners. Uh, the big thing is development here. Uh, we get to the college level. Obviously, we aren't getting the top 10 recruits in the nation. And at this level, everyone's a state champ. Everyone's a very fast runner out of high school. And we're trying to make sure that we take get the grinders, the kid who's going to outwork everyone. I mean, that's how we've Zach Edwards has gone from 15, 16 to 13, 56, and one of the best runners in the nation, or walk on. Uh, a 440 miler to now being fourth in the conference in the steeple, a 920 kid as a sophomore. We really expect to be a sub nine kid this year in the steeple, a top 10 guy in conference uh, in cross, and a guy who can make the national meet and track. I mean, it's all about taking time. We're a mileage team. We put in the mileage. We do a lot of base work. We do a lot of weights. We do a lot of drills. I mean, where a lot of teams they might just meet once a day, we're meeting twice a day, we're making sure mechanics get right, we're making sure if there's any muscle imbalances, we're getting those corrected. Uh, and we make sure that each runner is trained individually, because everybody's a little different. If everybody was the same, it'd be really easy to train everybody, but it's unfortunately not that easy for me. And I'm trying to find out each athlete, and over time, I figure out a little more, I can take out what hurts them in training, really put in what they need, and as you can see, uh, the goals to every year be improving leaps and bounds, and I feel like we've done that. Uh, when I first got here, the team the year before was ninth on the guys' side and last on the girls. The girls jumped to fifth real quick. The guys obviously have moved to 
conference favorites, second conference last year, and we've done it with great recruiting, great kids who come in, and they might not be the best kids from their state. They might not even be a top 10 kid in the state. It might be Damian Lee, but obviously Damian showed that it's not just about talent. It's about going out there and working, because we all have some talent. Everybody at this level has talent. It's about outworking people, and that's what we do.